try to make a lengthy answer short for you about brine discharge. Going back to the ion exchange water softener, the procedure by which a, an ion exchange water softener functions is to saturate a tank full of resin beads, which are small polymer BB-like uh, materials uh, placed into a tank, and then that tank is flooded with a high concentration of salt water, commonly referred to as brine. Uh, once that brine uh, has had sufficient tack time or contact time, to break loose any accumulated calcium and magnesium, iron, manganese, whatever uh, minerals or metals have been uh, collected by those resin beads, uh, it is then flushed with fresh water uh, down the drain. Uh, that is what's referred to as a brine discharge. Uh, that brine discharge is a highly concentrated uh, quantity of salt water, unfortunately, most American-made water softeners have a valve mechanism that automatically accomplishes that process, which is referred to as regeneration, at about 2 a.m. And the problem with that is we now have literally millions of self-regenerating ion exchange water softeners dumping this high concentration of brine or salt water down the drain uh, to the city uh, water treatment plants all at about 2 a.m. Uh, at various days through the week. Uh, that is a huge influx of salt water, places a, a huge burden on the ability of the water treatment plant to adequately treat that water since uh, discharge water or sewage water is typically used, uh, recycled and used for agricultural and other uh, non-potable uh, purposes, having a large concentration of brine or salt in the water makes that a real issue. It is one of the reasons that many counties in the state of California uh, and uh, some other states now, a total of about nine throughout the country, have banned the use of self-regenerating water softeners uh, for just that reason, to reduce that uh, influx of salt into the uh, water treatment facilities. Uh, about a half a dozen other states have banned the use of self-regenerating water softeners on any building that uses a septic tank as opposed to a city water treatment facility for the same reason, that dumping large quantities of salt water into a septic tank can interfere with its microbiological functions, also uh, performs what's known as poisoning the leach field, uh, dumping large concentrations of salt water through soil in a leach field inhibits its ability to absorb moisture and bacteriological contamination. So uh, the answer to the question is why do we not want to uh, have a, a brine discharge? It's because primarily because it's of its environmental uh, impact on either the water treatment facility or a septic system.